How's everybody? It is your boy WJ back here with another video, and today we are watching the NFL controversial and horrible calls of the 2022 season, week nine. Let's get into this. Let's go. They need to go hey, for the Miami Bears. Launches, launches, launches. Pass interference. That's pass interference for sure. What? Get the hell out of here with that bullshit. Chase Claypool. First of all, I can't believe that he got traded from the Steelers. Steelers have no brain except for that new guy, Pickett, whatever his name is. Oh my gosh. Come on. The fans are going crazy. They're not, they see it now on the replay board to come to Miami. And Wilson remains shutting down in six. Ball start? Did you not see that? Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense number 91. What? Oh, these refs are on some different shit. I'm telling you. I think some different shit. I'm telling you. Mike Pinnell jumped the gun there a little bit on the... Uh, he may have been in the neutral zone, but they didn't call it on that and ultimately mm -hmm. end up getting the first down because of the... the Come on, man. What? What is your problem? The there you go. There you go. Season. Get rid of it. Watch this again. Okay, yeah, that is rough in the passer, but, you know, he and jumped he off so play. bad. Well, it looks like it, it, it almost looks like he took a couple of steps. So that had to have been the call because it didn't look like a vicious hit or True. hit to the head. But he may have taken two steps. I think it, it was two. on the Bears, correct? It is, was it on the same game? Justin Jones up the middle. And now they're calling for intentional grounding. That's the conversation. And the Wait, wasn't the receiver next to him, though? Well, the a play by Justin Jones up the middle. Well, the thing is, is Waddle was out to the sideline. When it comes to, to intentional grounding, I don't really know about that. that but. The, ground. the problem is Ingold was blocking. So even though he was near the ball, let's hear what the explanation is. Thirty of the Dolphins was in the vicinity. There is no foul for intentional They pick up the flag. There, there was no way. Well, there was no Dolphins in the vicinity. There's in goal. Okay. He's going to be the one working through. No, I think. Okay, okay, okay. I thought he. For the screen, but when that ball goes down, by maybe it's because he picked up the block. So I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know about I think that. That's got, if he's engaged in blocking, I, I think that's got to be. First off, I want to go back real quick. Did you guys see that? It's Tua, Derek Carr. Come on, it's your boy. Jalen Hurts, repping right here. Philadelphia Eagles, let's go. We are undefeated. Jalen Hurts, 21 for 27, 243, two touchdowns on Thursday night. when We play Monday night against uh, Washington. You guys should tune into that game. Let's go, though. If he's engaged in blocking, I, I think that's got to be an intentional grounding. But yeah, I don't. I'm ball, not sure so. about that. I'm, maybe it's because he picked up the blocks. But I don't know though. I don't think that concerns him a receiver. To Wilson. Tua. Block. Here goes Tua going deep. He's looking for Waddle and complete coverage by Jackson. Flag at the 30. I guess. I mean, the, the sun was in the way, so I don't know what happened. The angle of the sun and going okay. in from the shadows to the sun back and forth. Oh, he pushed him. Oh, yeah, That's look, look. Well, watch, his, watch his arm. He just that little shove just pushes him out the way. The and, but, why would you go ahead and go for that one hand, though? You go for the two. It is against Chicago and the veteran Eddie Jackson. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I think it is a pass interference. But had Waddle kept running the ball, I mean, he, he jumped too soon and looked back at the ball. Jackson turns his head around. There is contact. Dude, he is hot. But he didn't prevent him from going to get the ball. Waddle stopping is what prevented him from going and get the ball. Yeah, Mark, you do get credit for not turning it over. I don't know. I don't know. So far, as Heineke avoids pressure and he's... Okay. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Yo, I saw that. He ran to the ref. He ran into the ref. If that happens, what do you what do you do? Do you? I mean, I don't. They're checking if he was touched when he went down. I don't know. By the official. Well, Cameron by Bynum is. I mean, Bynum's all over this. It's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. Okay, yeah. But like, 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 yeah, he he hits the ref, and I think that might have been a pick. If he didn't hit the ref, that would that would would have been a pick. Samuel for sure, almost for sure. Just finds a way in there. Yeah, he tripped over the ref. Did anybody touch? It certainly 
Didn't look like it on the replay. Yeah, he gets Steve touched Patrick there. The I think he touches the ball, though. <laughs> was, didn't get down by Shot contact like until he went into Dance. I think Here's the only controversial right here is Watch, the ref. He's trying to get out of the way, bless his heart. Bynum had it sized up, and here comes Samuel right through there. Yeah, that looked like Steve, is on the Steve Patrick, the back judge, who was <laughs> who was way back. Is that just a bad break if an official what do you gets do there, the, though? the defense on a play? It is. The official's just part of the field of play, and it's just a bad break. It's just different. It's just a bad break. That's that's all it is. But, I mean, when it comes to a game-deciding factor, I don't know. I think you should... If that was me, honestly, if you hit... If you ran into the ref, or the ref ran into you... I don't know. If it somehow affected play, go ahead and redo it. But if it's like you throw it to the left side and, you know... The ref gets you on the right side. I don't know. I don't know about that. 66 yard punt. Watch how close this is. And I haven't seen a challenge flag yet. I would use it. I I mean, this could be such a changer. It could. There's there's green in between out at the 20, that but and no the white line. Of anything. And this has been played through the monitors for two and a half minutes. God, everybody saw it. Looked like a slice of green to me. And look, the way this game has gone, that's a big play. Because if that is not a touchback, now we're well, in a look, different scenario. Green. And it's a uh, possession uh, game. I'm going back real quick. That's really close. But I thought there's, there's that green. is not a touchback. Watch, look. In- they, there's green. Like, right there. What are you doing that's in that situation? Game. That's really close, but I thought I saw a slice of green between that ball and the so ball. So did I. No, that Third was green. Motion. Mariota. Mariota steps up. Okay. Oh, okay. Gets what a nice ball. The hands of I think, think was that getting pass getting interference? If I think you push him. Right First of all, watch the way he stepped right, to the he pocket for just a second. Give him enough time, though. Okay, <sighs> is so close. It, Nasir Adderley. I don't. I don't know. All over Kyle Pitts' back. Couldn't do anything else. I don't. I don't know about that. I don't know. They're booing. They think that's what I hate. I don't know. Well, look, they got lucky because Khalil Mack should have been called, or excuse me, Caleb Gary should have been called for a holding on Khalil Mack. Okay. Oh, I was for sure thought that would have been. I was so, so sure I was going to be. a false start. He started so early. I don't know how they they didn't call that. There was like three calls. That I'm I'm telling you right now that the Eagles should have had on them, and they didn't get called. Yeah, that was Lane Johnson. Got away with one there. Here he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he start early? Yeah, he starts way early. Yeah. Took a step back right for. I don't know how they didn't call that. I think that there was a holding right here. <clears throat> Oh, no, no, no. That's where Kelsey dragged him by the helmet. They had him probably down at about the six, five or six yard line. But again, he's able to. Kelsey said, You're coming with me, buddy. Low center gravity, but the guy's got to wrap up. Well, this was game well. Here, we showed you this on the replay. 62 grabs a hold of him and says, Come on, I'll get you in there. And Terry. Exactly. Terry, what, do you, what are your thoughts on this? Yes, it's interesting. We saw the Houston players react. I don't know how the refs aren't the seeing this, though. The clubs with this week about I mean, the runner. That's the Eagles came out for that team. W, so but like, I don't know how the refs didn't see those two things. Realized, and Lovey Smith realized that should have been a 10-yard penalty for assisting the runner. Talking to the referee, expressing exactly what Terry just described. It looked to them. Like Gainwell was pulled by Kelsey closer to that goal. Line yeah, he, he was he was for sure like for sure pulled. That they were arguing for. No, he caught him under the chin strap. The, the one thing I would say is I think he was down earlier and then pulled potentially after being called down. But roughing the passer, defense number ninety-four. It's a fifteen-yard penalty and automatic first down. Is it though? Ninety-seven. Hargrave has had a big night. Just hits him late. After the yeah. throw, again, I love to hear Terry's thoughts. The modern world of, of the I think, I mean, when I first watched, I'm thinking, you know, it too. wasn't. But now that I'm seeing, I think it was. Uh, it I, I think it's got like, like three seconds. One step, and I don't see head and neck area. I mean, in real time, it's obviously they're going to lean toward calling yeah. a foul. It's yeah. a big hit, but I don't believe it was. 
I don't know. Rodgers again going to the corner. Nobody home. Lazard was kind of tangled up there with Jerry Jacobs in his third and ten. He's calling for P.I. I think this is a nice job here by Jacobs. Gets his head around at first. He, yep, I don't he, know, pu he pushed him. him out of bounds. He pushed, that he pushed him like out of bounds. Jerry Jacobs just kind of had his head buried in his chest, running him out of bounds. First down and ten for the Jaguars. Lawrence. That was a false right, start right for sure. Got a completion. That's Jones, who's wrestled down by Rock Yassine. Oh, my God. They wrestled Yassine. Well, he was a wrestler and yeah. two-time state champion. In that was for sure false. Out of an old high school move here. You I think know, the, you pile drive them like I that, think that's for what unrest, unnecessary roughness. Flag, I think that one, but me, I could have sworn there really, really, wasn't really, there. Really. Kind of driving him out of bounds. I, I could have sworn I saw a false play. start Jerry on Jacobs the defense. Kind of had his head buried in his chest, running him out of bounds. Right here. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, no, he didn't. He just okay. It was, it was a, it was a linebacker. I, I for sure thought it was uh, false. Ever it wasn't. When I say wrestled, you seen. Well, he was a wrestler and yeah. two-time state champion in wrestling, and he pulled out an old high school move. Here. Dropped you know, him on his head. Like I when I had seen this, I thought his neck back. was done. To me, that's just a but really, really, who was it? Chark, maybe? I don't know. If, I don't know who that was, but he <laughs> twisted the last yeah, second. Burrow with pressure in his face towards the pylon. Thomas with the catch down inside the one. I don't know. Ionitis. Joe Burrow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He he pushed him. He pushed him. Knees down. Oh. Is that a touchdown? Does he have control? Look at that. Ruling on the field was a catch short of the goal line. Dean Blandino is with us. His knee, his knee was down, though. Dean, what do you see here on this Tyler Boyd catch? They're looking at a couple of things. They're looking knee at, down. is it a catch? I'll pause it. So knee down right there. And then he doesn't lose control, which I'm pretty Defensive sure qualifies it as a catch. Part down inbounds, other than a hand or a foot, could be both feet. And then, if it is a catch... Does he have control with the ball breaking the plane of the goal line? And it does appear he has control. We're going to get an announcement here, so let's see what they got. Did we get the body After part? Review, the ruling on the field stands. stands. Cincinnati. Uh, I don't know. Because his knee came up, right, Dean? Like the knee touched and then came up and then... I'm going to go back real quick. Is that right? I think his his the, knee was down. Looking at, is it a catch? So we're okay, yeah, so he, oh, wait, no, 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 uh, his knee, when he catches it, his knee comes up, so his knee is down right there, the ball's not in his hands catch. yet, so we're looking for control. catches it, yeah, his knee's up, body part down inbound, he, so he was short, he was feet. short, and then, if it is a catch, does he have control with the ball breaking the plane? Or did he? The goal yeah, line? ball catch right there. Oh no, control. wait. No, I don't think that's even a catch. An here, so let's see what they got. Did we get the body the part? I don't think that's. Stands. Stands. I don't. Because it's. I don't know. Up, right, Dean? Like the knee touched and then yeah, the, came the up knee and touched and came up. I can see why that wasn't a right? touchdown. Well, was it a completed catch? That's where I'm going ahead. I'm kind of getting a little confused. That the catch on the field. Knees down. To me, that's a touchdown because I've got control and then progress in the end zone. So to me, that was a touchdown if they rule a catch on. I don't know. Pass interference. That was that was pass interference, wasn't it? Did his arm? I don't know. Definitely contact as Juju's waiting to catch the ball there. So the fans. I'm gonna say I agree with the fans. Yeah, I, I think it. Was, I think he nudged him like the last second. Second down and three on the fake. Here's Rogers. Gets okay. Deguara tries to make a cut. Hutchinson comes back to hit him, and Deguara is gonna be short of a. <laughs> He's a bro. Down at about one. Beyond poor. Goff in trouble, and he is sacked. Wasn't well, call rough on the passer. Came in and out oh. at the he, end thing. Is it rough on the passer? I caught it. I told you guys it was rough on the passer. Oh my gosh, but he sold the ball. These refs are stupid. Around this left side. Yeah, you see his right hand. He catches Goff. These refs are club right here to the right side of his helmet. Oh. Kind of pulls his helmet back. <sighs> 
it's a tough play for the defense. I understand by the letter of the law, that's that's a penalty. That's just a tough play. You're going to reach oh. for a quarterback looking to bail out out the back side of the pocket. Just they they the protect the of the these ball. quarterbacks so yeah. so bad now mean. these that's days. It's tough, so bad. That's a tough one, but that is it's the, it's, the it's the right a penalty. Like you can't it's the right call. if you it's breathe in a direction is a flag. You're saying. I, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do there. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. If you guys like this video, you guys want to see more NFL, you know, horrible calls or, you know, just different things with football and NFL, drop a like, drop a comment, do all that. It's your boy WJ, and I hope you are having a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. So goodbye for us. You have to say me, baby. And I'll you want to try